Welcome to another episode of The Butler Did It. I'm your host, Adam Butler, back with another episode. And yeah, I'm grateful to be here. All right, man, it's been a minute. I'm calling this season three, even though I don't think it's the third season of the show. I actually think it's the fourth season or the fourth iteration or the fourth whatever. Does it really matter? It don't matter. I'm here. You're here. We're back in business. We're going to rock with a season. And then we'll come back after that. We're going to do what we got to do, man. Um, Thank you so much for being patient with this show. You know what? Um, I'm always amazed. It's kind of the theme of this episode, right? Today's episode is called Everybody Got a Damn Podcast. All right. That's the name of the episode. Um, It kind of goes with the theme of the episode because I take breaks from this show often. This is truly a passion project. You know what I mean? Um, I have two podcasts that I actually, you know, one I do for like work, work, um, and then one that I do for work, which is the What Are Those podcast, and then there's the Gov Exec podcast. That's my nine to five, and then there's the, of course, What Are Those podcast, which is is my, you know, not my side endeavor, but whatever you want to call it, right? I get money for those. <laughs> um, so the what you know, the Butler Did It podcast is a true passion project. I have to take time out to do it, so I often take breaks from it. Um, And when we landed the Fox deal with what are those, which was a big thing for me personally, um, that's the first podcast that I've sold um, and been able to get on a larger platform. Um, You know, I had to take time off from this one, significant time off with this one so much so that some of the episodes even got lost out of the um, Apple feed because I just wasn't really keeping up with it because I really had to bunker down and get the what are those podcasts right. But throughout all of that, you would think with the what are those podcasts and Fox Sports and all of this, you know, sneakers and all of this stuff, you would think that people would get locked in and loaded and focused on that one. And they're fans of that one. People love that show. And I'm very grateful. But y'all never stopped asking. I got to stop making on this table. Y'all never stopped asking about the Butler Did It podcast. And that warms my heart. Butler did it is the is the standard. It's the it's the flagship. So I'm back. I'm doing it. Um we're gonna do it as much as possible. This is season three. Um I'm gonna try to carry it like that. But no more promises. By the way, no more promises because I realize I do that a lot. Like this is how we're gonna do it. I'm just gonna do a show. I'm gonna do a show. All right. I'm here, I'm here today. I got some things on my mind. For the people that forgot about this show and aren't familiar with the theme, the theme is mental health from a black man's point of view. And that's what we're going to talk about. So today's episode is called Everybody Got a Damn Podcast. And we're going to jump right into it. So I have been working in podcasting, audio production, online radio, terrestrial radio, media, Um, Both social media, new media, and traditional media for over 15 years. I am a veteran in this game, okay? I remember when podcasts launched. I remember Paul and I had a show called Mindstream Radio, um, and we had just started that show. And at the time, everyone wanted to emulate terrestrial radio. The thing was, we had figured out, people had figured out that Oh, you could run a stream on the internet. This is 2005, 6, 7. So really it's longer than 15 years, but I'm going to call it 15 years because I've been working proper, making money in the industry for about 15 years. But really, it's been, been, it's been about since 2003 or 2 since I really started like working in this field. Anyway, I remember when it first started, people realized, well, you know, there are ways with like QuickTime and Windows Media Player. And if you can kind of configure things, you can stream yourself live audio wise on the Internet. And the reason why there was like this rash of online radio, which is what we called it at the time, was because people were irritated with terrestrial radio. People felt like the subject matter and the music that we're hearing on terrestrial radio is not what we're interested in. We are interested in programming stuff ourselves. We're going to take it into our own hands. This, by the way, is nothing new. Pirate radio has existed for 30 plus years, probably longer than that. People have been stealing air, you know, 
pirating the airwaves <laughs> and having their own little radio station. And that has been a phenomenon for years. Right. What was different in the mid 2000s up to the early 2010s is that the way we consumed media changed. Right. People didn't want to watch live television. People were saying, hey, I got a TiVo or whatever damn device you were using at the time. And you were able to watch things on demand. I remember having a conversation with P back in like, oh, nine, 2008, 2009 going, bro, we're on. I think the show came on from eight to 10 back then. I was saying we're on, but we're competing with like American Idol or something like that. Like it was some, you know, big reality show that we were competing with at the time. And I remember saying to him, bro, people, you know, people want to watch our, listen to our show, excuse me. Um, but they can't or they won't because it's competing with their show. Why don't we record it? Now, what I'm not saying to you is that I invented podcasts and this is not what I'm trying to say. All right. I wish I did, but I didn't. All right. What I'm saying is a bunch of us that were working in that online radio space sort of figured out that, yo, people want this on demand. So we started giving recordings of our shows. And then that's how a lot of us discovered podcasting apps. Apple Podcasts, iTunes Podcasts, it was called at the time, Google Podcasts, you know, um, but po- podcasting platforms. I'm not sure Buzzsprout wasn't around, but a lot of platforms like that. Please bear with my long story. I'm getting to a point. OK, so that's how we kind of got into podcasting and we were doing that, but we were way too early. We were way too early. People weren't really invested into podcasting like that. The people that liked your show would ask for a recording, they would listen to the recording, they would watch the YouTube version. YouTube was very early at the time, to, at the time, you know, back then, people that got on YouTube, like, you know, circa 2009, 2010, are the people that make millions of dollars on YouTube now. It took them five, six, seven years to really start making real money on YouTube because they stuck with it. And the same thing, but actually, I can't say the same thing for the podcasters. Son, I want to get to. Okay, so... Podcast starts to get somewhat popular. People are understanding that, you know, I can listen to a recorded version of your show. People are moving away from the terrestrial, from mimicking terrestrial radio, not playing music on their show, stuff like that. You realize there's a problem with playing music with your show. And it's just getting into a talk format. Then Serial comes around. Serial was this huge podcast that was in a story format, a narrative format. Um, I think if, if, if uh, y'all gonna have to remind me, but I want to say it, it talked about like a murder or something like that. I can't even remember. It's like a murder investigation. Basically, like this really interesting podcast that came out and it changed the world, changed the world podcast. Boom. I'm working for Buzzfeed at the time. This is about 2014 and now everybody wants a podcast. Right. But it was a really white space. White people had, in my opinion, took this thing that a lot of black folks and folks of color were doing on the underground level. No fault. I'm not saying they stole it. I'm not saying it was anything, you know, uh, nefarious or anything like that or, or, or evil. I'm just saying that it just worked out in their favor. OK, and now this is podcasting. Boom. And all of a sudden, all these companies want to get involved and a bunch of people realize, hey, I can do this too. And then boom, there's a bunch of podcasts. I'm going to confess something to you guys. I have been jealous of the podcast boom for about 10 years now. Maybe not, maybe a little less than that. So let's call it five years. Let's just cut it in half, which is still a long ass time to be feeling like this. When I say we were early and that we missed, I think we missed an opportunity. And I can name a thousand podcasters that I knew at the time, right? It's, it, it's not like YouTube where people were able to kind of create their own platform and just kind of do their own thing. It really needed big industry to get involved, right? I was working for a radio station at the time and I was begging them to get involved in podcasting, begging them. They wouldn't do it. Couldn't see it. Couldn't see it. So when the corporations got involved and they handpicked Joe Rogan, 
people like this to be the podcast stars, right? A lot of people who were grinding and working this thing since it was online radio got left behind. Now we're in 2022, it is completely different. Literally everyone has a podcast. Everyone has has a podcast. I do podcast production in my spare time. And you, I cannot tell you how many people come to me and go, Hey, you know, how do I start a podcast? And what's even worse is when you say, well, I can help you produce it. You know, I'm a professional. Let me have, they go, oh, I'll just read it. You know, I'll go on YouTube and figure it out and I'll boom. And they're right. <laughs> they're right. Like you don't need all the tools in the world. You just need someone to believe in you. You just need someone to believe in you. At least that's what I thought. So what is my point? Let me get to my point. And thank you for waiting this long. Having a dream. Having aspirations to do more with yourself doesn't always mean becoming a celebrity. I quit this show, this show, the Butler did it often because I get frustrated because I don't feel like enough people are listening or I feel like I've been in the game too long to get um, minimal attention. I feel like I should be getting more attention. I'm a veteran. I've been in this game for 15 years. I just broke down how much experience I have. I can talk about podcasting all day. I am an expert in audio production, media, hosting, journalism, and podcasting. That's my ego. That's what my ego tells me. I'm the man. No one knows more than me. And you know what that turns into? When someone I feel or deem less than in this space or feel I feel like has jumped a couple of spots that they shouldn't have and leapfrog me. Now I'm hating. It's hard to admit that you be hating on people, bro. It's hard to admit that you look at all these new podcasts and some of them are brilliant, by the way. And go, man, that should be me. So much so, y'all, that when I got the Fox deal for one of those, I wasn't even happy. I wasn't even happy. I felt like this should have been happy. Matter of fact, I, I ain't still ain't really giving me when I uh, uh. That's how I felt. <laughs> that hate, that envy. That's sitting around looking at what other people doing. That wondering about other people checking other people's pockets. Checking other people's career paths and all that. It gets you nowhere. That ego. Is poison. Here we are living in this time where. You can almost literally do whatever you want. You want to write a book? Write a book. You don't need a big publishing house. You can go online and figure out how to write that book and potentially sell more books than Stephen King. It's possible. You can. You couldn't in the 90s. You can now at least. You want to make a movie? You can make a movie with the iPhone. The camera's better than some of the stuff you get from Best Buy. You don't need to have thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. I just went to a film festival just this last weekend, and I can tell that some of the people were shooting on just regular digital cameras or their phones, and their stuff is in a film festival. Hate on it if you want. You don't have to like the movie, but they made their movie. You want to make a podcast? Here you go. Yeti mic. Laptop. I got an iPad that I filmed with. I just gave you the tools. I just literally gave you the tools. Buzzsprout. Get an account. Boom. There's no difference between what you're doing and what Charlemagne is doing. Charlemagne just got more money behind him. Joe Rogan just got more money behind him. Joe Budden just got more money behind him. The Reed just got more money behind him. You can do whatever you want. So why would anyone sit around hating in a time like this? Why would anyone sit around 
thinking about and looking at the next person and judging the next person in a time like this. Oh, by the way, we're not fighting for audience for real. Somebody going to listen to this podcast and then listen to another one. So what the hell was wrong with me? For anyone that just started listening to this show, this show is like my journal, man. This is what I do. I was sitting around going, everybody got a damn podcast. I'm sick of podcasting. Done. I don't want to do it no more because everybody else is doing it. That was my thing. That was mine. That's what di- that's what made me different. Why everybody got why everybody got to play in 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 my toy box? <laughs> That's ego. You got to get rid of ego. Ego got to go, man. The rhyme. Anyway. <laughs> ego got to go. Okay? It prevents you from moving forward. I'm sure you I'm sure you know someone that's dealt with it or you have dealt with it yourself. Maybe you want to buy a house, maybe you want a new car, maybe you want to get married, maybe you want to Get a raise at your job or a promotion at your job. Instead of focusing on doing what you got to do. You looking at the next man or woman and thinking about them and hating on them. Wanting what they got when you could easily have that and more. You got to dump that ego. Me getting on this mic today. I'm being honest with y'all. I say I had a contract with the other shows. I got to do them. I don't have to do this show. The only reason I do this show is because I can motivate myself to do it. I wasn't able to do that for about a year. Yeah, I was busy with one of those, but I was also looking at other folks and going, man, better than that. That's whack. Why are they making it? Why, why people like that show? And the production value on that one. It was hating. 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 <laughs> My vow moving forward is to not look at the next man and worry about what the next man is doing. I worry about me. So to bring this thing full circle, right? When I tell you that you all asking me about this show that I didn't have a high opinion of at all. I look at my old shows. I got one playing in the background right now. Look at that. My good brothers. Y'all probably can't even see it. The camera's a little, um, isn't really focused on the TV. But my good brothers from the Loading Snacks show on it. I've interviewed some cool people, man. All my friends have been on this show. People that I don't know. People that are celebrities have been on this show. How could I look at this and be disappointed by it? Because I'm looking at other people. And comparing myself to them. Man, that's whack. That's whack. Promise I'm going to make to myself is I'm going to worry about me. I'm going to worry about being the best me. And I say that because I hope that you can do the same. Mental health is this cloud that just sort of hovers over not just America, not just black America, the world, really, but especially over black America. You know, we had all these shootings and everything. And everybody's talking about, oh, there's a mental health issue. Mental. What mental health? We don't even talk about it right. We just say the term mental health is just like a catch-all. I could tell you that my anxiety causes me to question myself. Now, here's the difference, though. Here's where the, here's where the conversation has to go with mental health, at least in my opinion. Because we usually just stop there. You have... X, Y, Z issue, mental health. I mean, I'm saying mental health, anxiety, depression, whatever, right? And then it just stops there. Now, I am not a psychologist, all right? We usually have Danielle on the show. She's a psychologist. She will be back. But what I believe is that when I allow anxiety to cause me to question myself, which causes me to look at the next person, which causes me to look at people who I care about, honestly. Some of these people, some of my friends of mine, people that I've worked with in the past, and I go, Ugh. that makes me weak. My mental health doesn't make me weak. My actions make me weak. How I deal with my mental health makes me weak if I allow it 
to stop my progress, especially when I know what's going on. Especially when I know what's going on. So yeah, everybody got a damn podcast. And guess what? Everybody should have a podcast if that's what you want to do. Everybody should write a book. Everybody should host game nights and st- and host events. And you know, if you want to run for office or you want to run for school, but whatever it is, whatever you dream of, you want to bake cookies, you want to you want to sell your 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 uh family recipe for for I don't know barbecue sauce, <laughs> whatever it is you do, do it. We don't get long here. We don't get a lot of time. Before I wrap up, I just want to tell you. uh, A couple of people that I went to school with. um, College, high two and high school. uh, Lost their lives recently. Um, And 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 that that obviously shakes you up right that obviously makes you think that obviously causes you to um reevaluate things and think about it you know some of these dudes um the average age of them was 40 um one was a little younger and they got 40 years to get it done basically they got 40 years that's what god allowed them 40 years to figure it out. Now, I'm not speaking on whether they did or didn't. Some of these dudes, um, all three of them actually I haven't spoken to in years. I know them all. They all really cool dudes. Um, but I haven't spoken to them through pretty much our adult lives. So I hope that they, within their 30 ish, 40 years, were able to make the best of it. But that should just be a lesson to all of us. Even if you live to be 80 or 90, you really just got 80 to do it. So do it. Whatever it is. Trips, whatever. I don't know. For me, it's this. For me, it's sharing stories. For me, it's speaking in this microphone. It gives me a high. I don't know what it is about it. I just love doing it. I love creating things. I love creating things from scratch. I love getting on this mic and creating this show. And when I'm done with this, I got to get on the editing and fix it up, make it look right, make it sound right. I love it. I love making films. I love it. I love telling stories. I love sharing stories. And I hope that this is a thing that, you know, when the aliens attack Earth and they, you know, 50 million years from now, when they dig up stuff, they find an episode of the Butler did it and go, huh, okay, that's what humans were like. That's what black folks were like. Can't do that when I'm sitting around worrying about other people that's doing their thing. Everybody got a damn podcast. And that's okay. In fact, that's great. I hope you start a podcast. I hope you listen to this show, watch this show, and start your own show. That would actually be a hell of an achievement on my part. That would make me feel good. It really would. It also makes me feel good when you guys ask about the show. So I'm here. I'm back. Appreciate you all. Thank you so much for listening to The Butler Did It. Um, I've already got some guests lined up. Um, we're trying to work it out, trying to get everybody booked, man. It's gonna, you know, the show is what it is, right? Sometimes we're going to have people on the show. Sometimes you're just going to hear me sharing my thoughts, man. I appreciate anybody that takes the time out to want to hear either, right? Really, really do appreciate you guys. Listen, listen to the What Are Those podcast. It's on the Up On Game Network. A lot of people ask me about how I can listen to that show, and it is different than this one because that show is part of a network. It is part of a network that's sponsored by Fox Sports. So if you look, if you look up Up On Game Network, right, or Up On Game Presents on any podcasting platform, but especially iHeartRadio, you will find it. My show comes on Mondays. Um, so you can listen to one of those shows if you're just interest, interested in sneaker culture or whatever. That's pretty much what I touch. All I talk about on that show is a sneaker show. Um, keep it locked with me. Uh, keep it locked on this YouTube page. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube page, please do that. Click the subscribe. Hit that like button. That's how we fix that algorithm. If you're listening to this in audio format, subscribe to the show. Leave a comment for me, man. I really appreciate that. Again, it helps the algorithm and it keeps the show going. And yeah, a little bit of ego. A little bit of ego helps me know 
that you feeling me. And if I'm doing something wrong, I need to hear that too. All right. MSR underscore Adam. MSR underscore Adam. That's my social media. That's my Twitter and my Instagram. And of course, the Butler did it podcast on TikTok. I really be working TikTok. TikTok is my guilty pleasure. I love TikTok. It's, it's a funny, 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 funny app. Again, big shout outs to you for always listening to this show, always supporting your boy, even when I was off air for a while. Again, you guys were constantly coming up to me, asking me what's up. I really, really, really appreciate you. You are a family and I love it so much. Um, so do this for me, okay? Mind your mental health. Always remember to mind your mental health. Mind your physical health. That's important too. And always, always, always continue to be great. I'm about here.